I want to talk a little bit about continuity and, and more specifically discontinuity uh, because it's going to help us understand the idea of a limit, um, especially with certain types of discontinuity. So the first thing we need to do is understand what, what do we mean when we're talking about continuity. We're, we're going to formally define continuity using limits later on, but what, just in layman's terms, what does it mean for a function to be continuous? I think the easiest way to think about it is if you were going to draw the function, you can draw it without picking up your pencil. That would be a continuous function. All right. There are certain reasons why a function might not be continuous. Um, and most of those reasons are because uh, a point is not in the domain of a function, but sometimes that's not, even, not necessarily the case. Sometimes you could have a point that's in the domain, but it's not continuous. So there, there are four main types of discontinuities that, that we'll um, encounter here. Uh, and these are the four. You can write them down if you want, but you don't have to, um, as long as you kind of understand what's going on. This one right here, this picture right here, I'm, I need to kind of clarify. There's a hole right here. Um, so a removable discontinuity would be a graph like this, where we have more or less a continuous function, with this hole here. So if I were drawing it, I could draw up to this point right here with my pencil, and then I would have to stop and pick it up, and then continue on the other side of that hole. Okay, so that would be what's called a removable discontinuity. Why is it called removable? Ben? That's what happens when you take it like a binomial from the top and the bottom of the function. Okay, yeah, so if, if we have a rational function, which would be a polynomial divided by a polynomial, this is what happens when uh, they have a, when they share a common factor. So, like if there was a well, an x on the top and the bottom in this one, in this case, um, it's removable because we can redefine this function so that it's exactly the same function, except it also includes this point, and it's it would be continuous then. If we just fill that hole, then it's continuous. So, a removable discontinuity we can make continuous by redefining it at that point and just saying that point is included in it. Now we have to be careful and, and define it so that it fills the hole rather than defining it so that um, maybe that point is in the domain but doesn't fill the hole. Okay, That would still be what's called a removable discontinuity. Um, a jump discontinuity would be like this one here where it may be kind of hard to see, but the function has a value of 0 to the left of 0 and it has a value of 1 at 1 and to the right of 1. Okay, that would be a jump discontinuity. Uh, typically, we'll see these when we define functions um, piecewise. I'll put a hole there. Uh, so if we have a piecewise function, uh, they, they might not meet up on the two sides. So we could end up with what's called a jump discontinuity. An infinite discontinuity is what happens when we have an asymptote. All right, if we were going to try to draw a function like this, this is the function 1 over x squared, um, we could not go from this left branch to the right branch because there's this asymptote in between. All right, so we would have to go up to infinity, and then um, starting at infinity, infinity would come back down. So we have a discontinuity there because, um, because of the asymptote in between. And then we have this function. I showed this one to you yesterday. This is what's called an oscillating discontinuity. Um, it's not continuous because of the erratic behavior of this function at zero. Um, it's, it's actually not shown, but I don't know if you guys remember this from yesterday, but um, these oscillations get closer and closer together, and it's basically just kind of filled in. Um, so when you get closer and closer to zero, uh, the, the values oscillate between negative 1 and positive 1 very, very quickly, more and more quickly. Um, you could almost say infinitely quickly, maybe. Um, you can also just kind of see that this is sign of 1 over x. Um, you would expect a discontinuity here because it's not going to be defined at 0. So 0 is not even in the domain of this thing. 